All right, this is Dr. Neil Barshez. I am a vascular surgeon at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about needles and also somewhat about suture material. Needles and suture material as relevant to vascular surgery cases. I think that this is important and it's important to know the details because first of all, there's many cases where we're wire filling off uh, upwards of a few dozen needles and sutures. Uh, so if you are striving for mastery, then you should know needles and sutures. You should be able to select uh, needles and sutures like Sabrina Williams knows her tennis rackets, like uh, Tiger Woods knows his golf clubs, like, uh, like Gordon Ramsay knows his uh, cookware. Uh, you, you really should know everything that uh, you're, you're using and choose it to, to optimize your likelihood of uh, success in any given situation. Uh, so first of all here, starting with our workhorse, this is a 5.0 proline. Uh, I wanna point out some of the characteristics of um, information that you get, get from the label, uh, information that is uh, important. You see here at the top, 5.0, that is the caliber of the uh, suture itself. Proline is the material, that's a trade name for polypropylene. And I have no disclosures uh, on this uh, 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 video. Uh, now down here uh, underneath where you see C1, C1, and then the information below that is uh, very important information that you may not have focused on before. First of all, 13 millimeters refers to the length of the needle. Uh, the three eighths after that, that's an important number. That refers to the uh, fraction of a circle uh, that the needle uh, comprises. This is a three-eighths needle. The C1 needle is a three-eighths needle. As a comparison, here is a 5-0, uh, same suture caliber, but an RB. Uh, you can see here it's a one-half. You see the number there, one-half, and you can see from the drawing that it is half the circumference of the, the needle. Uh, so uh, more of a curve. This is less of a curve still has curve to it, but in some ways, more or less, you can kind of think of it as a little straighter of a, of a needle. Uh, and then just by way of an example, this is not something that we would use on a blood vessel, but just to, again, to, to uh, show uh, another example of a needle. Sorry about the pulsating autofocus there. Let me see if I can get this in focus. This is a 5 eighths needle. This is a UR6 needle. You may use this to close fascia uh, for laparoscopy. Uh, at least a 2-0 version of that, or some you know, maybe an old version. Uh, 5 eighths needle, more curve to it. Useful in uh, other situations. Uh, our needles for vascular surgery uh, are typically the 3 eighths or 1 half. Um, so, and then the last uh, piece of information underneath here, you can see where it says in uh, text, taper point, and then you see here the illustration of that, that circle with the dot inside, meaning it's a round needle. Uh, and again, uh, to contrast this with a different type of needle, this is a reverse cutting needle on a 3.0 nylon. Uh, you can see the drawing of the shape. You can see where it says uh, in text, reverse cutting. Uh, this is a different, different type of needle. Uh, the next thing to talk about is the length. Most of our uh, sutures for vascular surgery are this length, 36 inch. Uh, we do have some 6Os that are 30 uh, inches in length. Uh, either one of those uh, lengths are pretty much equivalent, no significant difference uh, for the most part. The one thing that is different is for abdominal cases when we are doing uh, an aortic anastomosis, uh, there's where we typically want the longer 48 inch uh, suture. Uh, so that's one other uh, piece of information to get. Uh, pretty much all of these uh, proline, proline comes as a double arm needle. Uh, that I don't think that that is labeled on the package, but I think you could see that from the packaging. Whereas there, here's one needle here. This one has two. And I guess the drawing demonstrates two needles versus one in this drawing here. Uh, so you can, you can tell from that. Uh, last thing uh, that is uh, worth uh, talking about, well, first of all, just uh, the different array of 
needles the names because uh, typically when you're asking for a needle, you should know the characteristics, but you're asking for it by name. Uh, so again, here, uh, our workhorse, the 50C1 needle. I joke that it stands for C1, use one. Doesn't really, but get some laughs sometimes. Uh, the 40RB, RB needle, the one half curve. Sorry about the autofocus here. One half curve. Uh, this is a smaller needle, a BV needle. This is a BV1. And then there's a, for the seven O's that we use, we use a needle called a BV175, uh, just a little smaller uh, needle still, but also again with the three eighths curve. Uh, rule of thumb, uh, just as at least a, a default, uh, you know, uh, specific situations may vary from the default, uh, but as a default for aortic anastomosis, 3O, for iliac, 4O, common femoral, 5O, maybe not so much the RB, but at least the, the uh, C1 needle and the, the 5O caliber on the suture, uh, for popliteal, 6O, and then for the most part, for tibial vessels, we go with 7O, tibial and uh, pedal vessels, a 7O. I uh, hope you find this information useful. Thanks.